Ah, here we are. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to this game. When we last left off, check Quizmo. What appears when you hit the Wacka living on Mount Rugged? It's a bump. That kind of brings to the question, what exactly is Wacka's bump? To my understanding, it is some sort of pastry. You're basically whacking a uh, Wacka to get his snack. You're stealing his dessert. All the more reason that I don't want to be whacking him. It just occurred to me that I still haven't gotten that star piece that I intended to get over at Mount Rugged. There is still a star piece that needs acquired. I forgot. Other than lemons, what fruit drops when you hit a tree in the desert oasis? A lime. The star piece that I'm missing, by the way... Uh, you can find it during Paracarry's quest whenever you first meet him, and you have to find his letters. Eh, sort of. It's actually across a gap that you need Paracarry specifically to cross. Of course, you don't get the opportunity until he joins you, which happens after you collect the letters. Which is why I forgot to go back there and get it. Oh, there you are. Eh, I probably will show it off on camera. Possibly. Maybe right before we end today's stream. What is the name of the strange person in Toe Town who can increase Mario's status? Chet Rippo. Diz on it? Rat Chip Achipa? Hmm. Interesting names. 36 questions. 30 to go. I am fairly certain that you do have to leave town in order for her to be able to respawn in town. In fact, I should probably just go ahead and possibly assume that. Because I've never actually seen it happen. Actually, you know what? I could save a little bit of time. I've noticed that once he does spawn in a town, he doesn't despawn from the town until you leave town. So I could use that information to my advantage. What ability does Bombette frequently use? Sing, dance, bomb? I'd be very interested in hearing Bombette sing. Also, Matty Ratty has just left to do his own stream. Uh, at the end of this stream, I will send a raid to him. Oh, there we go. Another you. Keep it up, Chucky. What does Gourmet Guy, guy like? <laughs> Cooper? <laughs> Cake. What is Chuck Quizmo anyway? Some sort of worm? With big fat lips? 
Are those his eyes, or is he wearing glasses? You know, there's another character that looks kind of like him in one of the Mario Party games. I don't think he's the same character, though, because that character that I'm thinking of has legs and arms. Whereas Chuck Quizmo is pretty much devoid of each of those. He's got the same overall look, though. He's got the same hat and the same stripe pattern, I'm pretty sure. Maybe they're cousins. I think it would have been better if it was the same character, though. If they actually put a 3D version of Chuck Quizmo in that Mario Party. It's either Mario Party 4 or Mario Party 5. Who was the second companion to join your team? Cooper. If there's one thing I do know about Cooper, is that he was the second to join my team. You know, I don't know about you guys, but I'm actually kind of having fun doing this. Searching for Chuck Quizmo live. It, this is kind of a relaxing stream at this point. I like a good relaxing stream from time to time. Who tried to steal coins from you in the desert? Bandit. Surprisingly not the Nomadic Mouse, considering that they're thieves in Yoshi's Island. Should I bring up what I plan on streaming after this game? Normally I would wait until I'm done with the game, but maybe it might be worth bringing up. Just to have something to chit chat about while I'm searching for Chuck Quizmo. Next game I'm planning on streaming is Kirby 64. I'm gonna be doing a 100% run of that, finding all the crystal shards. Actually, I shouldn't say it's a 100% run. It's definitely all the crystal shards, but there's also this other collectible you can get. These playing cards. They are not really worth going after, though. And then... Oh, hey. There you are. You're, you're, the way you spawn is so weird. What is the name of the star spirit who can, who can use Star Storm? That would be... Scholar. After Kirby 64, I don't know what I'll be doing. But I do know that after whatever game I play after Su Kirby 64, I'll be doing... What are addressed to your companions and sent to the post office? Handbills, obviously. Letters. You know, it would definitely be interesting if it was parcels, though. What if we got some free items out of that? That would have been nice. Uh, it occurs to me that I forgot to write down the time that I started this particular episode. I'm going to assume that I'm 11 minutes in. Possibly. Hold on a sec. Among the following, which building is not in Toad Town? Mayor's House. Toad Town is... Oh, not a democracy. What is the other thing? Because it's run by a princess. Not very well, but it's run by a princess. What kind of book did Gourmet Guy drop? Cooking.
Come on, Chucky. Please don't be somewhere random again. No, you're right here. Which is admittedly random, but as long as you're randomly in one of these three towns, that is good. Alright, who am I? IQ Testa, Sir Quisby. Fun names. For all we know, those might have been beta names. Who knows, they, those could be his names in other countries. Like, maybe one of those is his Italian name. Oop, yes, I did want to save, actually. You know what's really sad? The Nintendo 64... only had five RPGs released in America. This is a random thing, but something to chit-chat about after this question. Where do I show up? In towns and villages- <laughs> in the jail. No. In towns and villages. Uh, let's see. The five RPGs that I'm aware of are this game, of course, Quicks, uh, Quest 64, unfortunate, Aiden Chronicles, unfortunate, Hybrid Heaven, which is a game that I like, personally. Not for everybody, but it's a game I like. And Ogre Battle 64, which is actually a strategy RPG, but still an RPG. Oh, and I guess there's also Pokemon Stadium 1 and 2, if you wanted to count those. It's definitely sad, though, that the Nintendo 64 only got those games, considering the Super Nintendo wound up being an RPG machine. Like, it had so many classic RPGs on it, and also so many RPGs that you've never heard of. Like, how many of you are familiar with Secret of the Seven Stars? And I don't mean Super Mario RPG Legend as the Seven Stars, I mean there's like a game by Tecmo called Secret of the Seven Stars. I think that's what it's called. That's actually a pretty interesting game. Not great, but it has an interesting mechanic, I think. If I'm thinking of the right game, it's a game where you have more than one team of fighters and you can switch between them. What is the name of the plant that grows in Jade Jungle and blows out stars? Trumpet... Plant... Blows out stars, Bell Bell... It has to be the trumpet, because it blows them out. By the way, Hybrid Heaven is definitely a game I want to stream someday. It's a pretty slow-paced game. It's basically a game that takes place entirely underground and very much linear. There's no towns. No, let's scratch that. There is one town midway through the game. But aside from that, it's mostly just you fighting the entire time. I guess technically at the start of the game you would have a town as well. But besides those... There is not very much character interaction. It's mostly fighting and the occasional cutscene. But the fighting is what makes the game very interesting. Uh, what color was the leader of Yoshi's Village? Green. There were sadly no pink Yoshis in that place. Anyway, Hybrid Heaven is... Well, fighting is... weird. It's turn-based, except not. It's like using an ATB gauge like in Final Fantasy, but instead of standing in one place, taking turns hitting each other, you're actually having free movement. It's one-on-one -on -one combat, kind of like a 3D fighting game. And in fact, you have a variety of punches and kicks you can use, and you can level up your arms and legs and make them stronger, both offensively and defensively. 
and enemies can hit you and punch you and kick you and that sort of thing as well and there's also grapples and you can learn new attacks by being attacked by enemies so it's like blue magic very interesting battle system also it's very slow paced the battle system your typical battle would certainly be lasting a minute and then even though the combat is kind of like fighting games the similarities end there. You don't like punch and punch and zoom around and that sort of thing like most fighting games. It's very methodical. Also, the game was made by Konami. In fact, the story has a bit of a Metal Gear flavor to it. In the complexity of the story. It has to do with aliens coming along and making clones. What is the name of the elderly man who tells fortunes in Toe Town? That would be Merlin. Despite the slow nature of Hybrid Heaven, though, and the overall lack of character interaction throughout most of it, I really do want to stream it. I just don't know for certain whether I'd be able to make it interesting to stream. Because I wouldn't... My biggest worry with that game is that you would be all bored. I would have to make up for the lack of fast-paced action. And I'm not entirely confident in my ability as a streamer to do that. How many colors of Yoshis did you see in Yoshi's Village? I was about to say five, but that's not an option, so it's a good thing it's not. Which means it's probably actually six. Because there aren't there are many. Let's see here, there's... Green, blue, a different blue, purple, red. No, maybe there was only one blue, because there's also yellow. I think what's throwing me off is that there were five Yoshi kids. And that leaves one out. Was brown a color? Maybe brown was a color. And there was definitely not a brown Yoshi kid. How would the Yoshi kids in Yoshi's Village describe sushi? Bossy? Alright, 51 questions. 13 more to go. Now, I don't necessarily know I have enough time to do all 13, though. Unless he keeps appearing like this. If he keeps appearing like this, yes, definitely. What building is across from the Toe Town Post Office? That would be Merlin's house. So far, I've only missed the one question. The one involving the color of the Radio Koopa's house. Which we've already redone, so I don't have to do it again. And that's a good thing, because I'm not entirely confident that I remember what the correct answer was. Oh, however, we could find out right now. It was blue. Like Cooper's shell. That's the way you remember. Uh, let's check this way first. Nope. There you are. I should have went and left first after all.
Question, what kind of car do you get when you defeat Lee at the dojo in Toe Town? That would be the second degree. Fifty-three questions. Now I definitely don't have enough time to go through the rest of them. I'll answer one more, though. Hey, there you are. Alright. What color is the brook that Princess Peach wears? Shoot. Of course the last one is going to be like this. Well, it's not pink. That would be redundant. Would it be red? Or blue? I'm going to guess blue. I think it's blue, because red and pink would not go together. Hey, I did it! Alright, that means that there are only ten questions left. So, here's the game plan. We're going to be ending this for today. Those of you watching this at Twitch, I'll go ahead and send a raid. Get you guys over to Maddie Ready stream. Um... In between streams... Oh, I forgot. I wanted to go after that star piece that I still need to get. Now, we'll start the next stream there. And in between streams, I'm also going to fight the Amazing Daisy to get a couple of Ultra Shrooms. And also work my way towards getting a uh, Jam and Jelly. And then next time, not only will we get that last DR piece and the last 10 Chuck Quizmo questions, but we'll also cook the last three recipes and buy the last remaining badges in the game, which will mean we're very much on our way to getting 100%. And soon, we'll make our way to the final dungeon. How exciting!